Good morning and welcome back to Marty's Bench. Today we're tying Rick Takahashi's Go To Caddis. This is the featured fly for our inaugural first ever Rocky Mountain Flycasters Trout Unlimited Social Fly Tying. So bring your materials and join us. It's a great pattern for around here. Rick's from Fort Collins. This pattern is awesome on the Pooter, the Big Thompson. Tying it on a size 14 hook. Happens to be a Dairikio 60. The bead is 3.30 seconds. And you can tie this thing in 12s, 14s, 16s, and I think I'm quite even carried it in an 18. 14s and 16s by far the favorite sizes. Any black thread will do. This happens to be 140 denier. This is Danville's. UTC works just fine. For tail material, we're going to use a hen soft tackle feather. And what I'm going to do is get a pretty good sized bundle out to the side and then just like tearing a phone book peel it away and kind of compress them together so you got your little paintbrush tail is short on this one and if you want to you can trim those now the body material is a midge diamond braid for us in chartreuse. And I'm going to move my thread back up to that start in point. And that's where I'm going to tie, tie in so that now it's the length of the body. That will kind of preserve the consistency of our abdomen size. Now, Remember to leave plenty of room up here behind the bead. This has some stuff going on in front of the hackle. Take your diamond braid and wrap it forward, just touching turns. You don't have to stretch it very much. There's four, five, six turns. If you count those and find a number you like, your caddis will be consistent. Now, we're going to use some brown hackle. This one is a saddle hackle. We're tying it in kind of, remember our tying point is back from the bead, so you don't need this to be very long. Just going to show some semblance of legs and antenna and stuff. Now I only need turn and a half to two turns. If you get all the way to three, you're already in the too much category. Just need a little bit. Now those are splaying all over the place, but when we tie in our dubbing in the last step, it'll stroke it all back, so that's fine. Got some McFlylon. Any poly yarn will do. I'm using a full width of the McFly lawn on a 14. If I was tying smaller, I might thin it out. A couple of turns, not very tight, because I'm going to want to pull that back. Now I'm going to go tight and move my thread forward to kind of crush those tips down. Now that bead has moved on the shank. I want to pop it back up. There we go, until it's on the center line. We're going to trim this wing about the length of the body. Maybe a little shorter, certainly don't want it any longer. That's the best look right there. Now we're going to cover up those thread wraps with some peacock ice stub. Rick designed this pattern when his uh, neck was bothering him and it was hard for him to feel some of these things and he didn't like working with biots so 
he picked some materials that were easier to work with. Now, if this dubbing is something hard to work with, just substitute Peacock. There you go, just a few turns of that. And we're ready for a whip finish right behind the beat. See so yeah, how that swept all the hackle back? Took care of all those strays. Tax go to Caddis. Go Flycasters.